now let's learn how we are going to determine the type of crystal okay so i'm just going to put in the heading that we are learning about determining type of crystal so basically it's a very complex method and we are going to learn only about how to distinguish between an fcc or a bcc or a simple cubic lattice okay so given a crystal how can you find out whether it is one of these three okay so first of all you must understand or rather know that your diffraction only happens from certain types of planes okay so diffraction only happens for planes which are known as your principal diffraction planes not all crystallographic planes would result in diffraction okay not all planes are scattering your x rays okay only certain type of crystallographic planes which are known as your principal diffraction planes are going to scatter the x rays or are going to produce diffraction so what is a principal diffraction plane your principal diffraction plane is essentially a plane with high atomic density okay so it is a plane through which large number of atomic centers pass through okay so it is a plane with high atomic density okay so for a simple cubic structure all combinations of hkl are essentially your principal diffraction planes for a bcc structure your principal diffraction planes are the planes wherein your h plus k plus l is equal to a even number okay so all planes h k l of the type where h plus k plus l is even is going to be a principal diffraction plane for example 2 1 1 is a principal diffraction plane for a bcc because 2 plus 1 plus 1 is what this is equal to 4 okay so that is going to be a principal diffraction plane but 1 1 1 is not a principal diffraction plane because 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 which is not even okay for an fcc unit cell the principal diffraction planes are the planes where h k and l are all even or are all odd okay your zero is considered as even okay so 1 0 1 is not going to be a principal diffraction plane because this is odd this is odd but this is even okay for this concept we consider zero as an even number okay and your 1 1 1 is going to be a principal diffraction plane because one is odd one is odd and one is odd all three h k and l are odd similarly your 2 0 2 would be a principal diffraction plane for an fcc lattice because this is even zero is even and this also is even so all three numbers should be either all even or all odd okay so these are the criteria of a principal diffraction plane for a simple cubic body centered cubic or a face centered cubic lattices okay so over here i have the first three planes which are going to scatter your x ray for bcc and fcc okay so for bcc these planes are 110 200 200 and 211 as you can see all of these are the sum of these are all even okay and for fcc these are 111 200 200 and 220 all odd all even all even okay so just recollect your bragg's equation okay so d sin theta or rather 2d sin theta is equal to n lambda correct let's just assume we are looking at first order diffraction so i have 2d 